Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Battle of the Bulge instruction manual produced by Brickmania. There is a sticker sheet that comes with the instruction manual, there it is. Got a few stickers for the minifigs, some bullet holes, some mines, uh, insignias for the different vehicles. Looks pretty cool. Let's get started looking at the manual. Here's a list of all the different uh, kits they have instructions for. Feel free to pause the video if you uh, want to take a closer look and zoom in. I'll go over each of the kits one at a time as we go through the video. Here's the intro to the book, signed by Daniel Siskind. Should be able to zoom in and read this on a computer. I don't know if you'll have much luck if you're watching this on a uh, iPhone or anything like that. Here we are on page two, notes about Lego parts. Page three has some notes about aftermarket parts. They talk about their track links a little bit and some of the brick arms on page three. Uh, some good information. On page five, we have the first kit. It's the Schwimmwagen, the German amphibious 4x4 utility car. Originally released in uh, 2014. Designer is Daniel Siskind. On page 13, you'll find the SDKFZ234-2 Puma, German armored car. This was originally released in 2013, also created by Daniel Siskind. Here we are on page 29, the Panzer IV L70, German self-propelled tank destroyer. This is uh, one of the kits that made me intrigued in buying this book. I'll uh, eventually get the parts for it and build this one. It was originally released in 2014, another kit by Daniel Siskind. Okay, now we're on page 47 where we find the Marauder Aus M, self-propelled 7.5 centimeter anti-tank gun. This one was originally released in 2017. On page 65 you find the Panzer G, originally released in uh, 2017. Cool kit, I believe they just had this one on pre-sale recently. There might be one or two available online. It'll be the remake of it anyway. Uh, let's go to the next page. On page 99 we find the Messerschmitt BF-109. It's a slight variant to the latest one which has yellow in it I believe. I have that kit around here somewhere. This one was originally released in 2016. On page 117, we'll find the World War II Jeep, American General Purpose Utility Vehicle. This model was originally released in 2015. On page 125, we have the WC64 KD Ambulance, American 4x4 Truck Ambulance. There's some stickers for this one in the sticker pack so you can make it look really good. This kit was originally released in 2015. We find the GMC CCKW American 2.5 ton cargo truck on page 137. This kit was originally released in 2016. Here we have the M3A1 half track American armored personnel carrier. This kit was originally released in 2016. They just also did a pre-release on it yesterday. So uh, I did want to build this one out of this book, but I went ahead and pre-ordered that one, so I won't have to buy the parts for this one. Here we have the M18 Hellcat, American Tank Destroyer. Pretty cool little tank. Got a lot of people stuffed in there. Anyway, this kit was uh, originally released in 2015. 
It is on page 163. Here is the M36 Jackson, American 90mm self-propelled tank destroyer. Originally released on 2015. It is on page 177 of this instruction manual. On page 193, we find the P-51D Mustang Blue Nose. Might have to try to build this one. I kind of like the way it looks. Anyway, this, uh, this kit was original, originally released in 2014. It is on page 193. So that was all the kits that are in this manual. Here's an example of what the uh, instructions look like for the P-51 Mustang Blue Nose. On the left side you'll see a partial exposed listing of the pictures and number of parts for this kit. And on the right side you'll see an example of how they illustrate their uh, drawings for the instruction so you can build the uh, models. We find ourselves at the appendix now, which is where you find the list of parts for the different kits. If you decide you want to build them, you uh, just go down the list and plug them into BrickAll or BrickLink or any other place you can find that allows you to search and buy bricks separately, or individually I should say. They did print these a little smaller in this book than uh, the other two books I've reviewed, Vietnam Bricks and Bricks in the Sand. But it gives you an idea of what it looks like, uh, quantity, part number, description, color. This can be pretty long, so it is a bit daunting on the first one you do. We find ourselves at the back of the book now. Nice little picture on it, and also the list of the different uh, kits inside. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, hope to see you around next time on the next video I do. Have a good night, or a good day.